Hi Aries, welcome to your February mid-month reading. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries. Also, I want to remind you to check out your moon and rising sign. Sometimes they actually resonate better than your actual sun sign. And since there is so much about love on my channel, I wanted to do a little bit something different. So in the end, instead of pulling the romance card, I'm going to pull a message that is a general message from the Soul's Journey deck and also a general message overall for finances. So a little bit different. I will include love as it comes up though. So we have the Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, moving into the Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, the World card, and the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> So what I'm hearing, and this is, I am going to relate this one to love right off the bat. We'll do that one first. So in regard to love, some of you have a new offer coming in. You're going to meet a brand new person. Now this person that you're going to meet is a very solid, stable, grounded person. And when you meet them, you're going to feel that. You're going to know that they are really grounded in who they are. Very, very confident very methodical, maybe a little bit OCD. When you meet them, they're gonna come in very gallantly, so to speak, so they're gonna be bright and shiny when you see them. So you will know who I am describing as soon as you meet them. You are so busy working, you haven't really been paying attention to what is around you, but this person is actually going to stand out. So if you've been a workaholic, not really looking at all of the love opportunities out there, you will, you'll recognize this person right off the bat. Now you're, you know, when they approach you, they are going to ask you out. They are going to want to get to know you. And you may have some anxiety, some worries and fears because of something that took place in the past. The Seven of Swords can be the Cheater, Liar, Thief card, but this also can represent fear, fear within you. The Swords of the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords is talking about negativity, negative thinking. So what you're being guided to do is let go of the negative thinking because whatever happened in the past is done. It has nothing to do with this person. Maybe they remind you of someone in the past, but look at this person clearly for who they are because they are not that person of the past. They're brand new and you've successfully completed a cycle of your life. So this is a beautiful opportunity for you to engage with somebody that you really get along with. I mean really click with and it can lead to the happy home, happy life. Ten of Cups is having joy, abundance, love in great amount in your home life. But it also, because you've been working so hard, you've got the Ten of Pentacles as the overlying energy, the clarification card. You could be really putting away a lot of money, paying off debt, and this person comes in and that could make you afraid because you don't want to lose your momentum in your finances. And again, you won't. You will be able to have focus when you're with them, on them, and in the present moment, as well as return back to work and have focus in your work life. So it's actually quite lovely. Now for another group, when it comes to career and finance, you definitely have been working hard. This is for a group of you. You've been putting in all the effort you can into your work. You may be not really focused on other areas of your life um, and throwing everything you have into your work, but it is actually going to pay off. It's going to clear up confusion in you. It's going to help you establish a very, very nice financial uh, security for yourself. And <clears throat> As you move into the last week of February, there are some worries and anxieties. There is some negative thinking that is coming through. But again, I'm being told to let you know, let that go. 
it is not reality. Whatever took place in the past that is making you feel negative, making you see negative, actually isn't a reality. It is thinking. So let those negative thoughts go because we have the sun as the clarification card. The sun is beautiful. It's going to bring prosperity into your life. So this is actually a wonderful avenue for you. For another group of you, when it comes to your career and finances, you um, you have been working so hard you're not paying attention to what is going on around you and something may come to light. Something may be exposed where you actually are concerned. Somebody may be stealing from the organization that you're with or stealing from you. Somebody could be lying to you. There is some form of deceit that's going to take place, but you know how to handle this. So do not worry about this. You will be able to handle it. The, whoever is doing this is going to be exposed. It will come out and it will be taken care of and you will not be involved in it. I mean, I'm not getting anything that it is you who's doing the wrongdoing, who is the deceitful. This is someone else who's doing it in your environment, in your work environment. So keep focusing on your work, keep focusing on you. Make sure you are able to move forward in your life creating the beautiful foundation filled with prosperity and love as usual. Now I'm going to pull from the soul's journey. This is a beautiful deck and these are general messages overall and it's just beautiful. I wanted to share it with you. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So it definitely does tie in with the reading when I'm telling you whoever this person is, whether it be in romance, love, or your career. You can't change the past. Whatever's taken place in the past that is causing you worry, that is causing you fear, let it go because it is not present. And it is definitely not the future. And now I'm gonna pull the prosperity card that I have for you. Complete control. Every human being has the ability to completely control his own mind. So, as you start this brand new cycle in your life, keep in mind that what you think you create. So, when it comes to negative thinking in any part of your life, let it go, but especially relating to your money and career. Whatever took place in the past is done. It's gone. You've learned your lesson. You succeeded this cycle, so you're moving forward in a beautiful, beautiful way. I wish you a wonderful two weeks and much love.